I can see. And the other thing you guys can be using this for, of course, since we're talking about L2, is support and resistance, right? We all know by different levels of where people are. So if you look at the buyers, you will see right here, $5. You see how there's a lot of buyers sitting at five bucks? It's It keeps moving, but if you look over here, right? You see the $5, see how it has a higher amount? That's because there's more people sitting on, what do I always talk about? The whole number, right? So if we looked at that, $5 right now is support, okay? You guys see how you can use the L2 as support and resistance by using that? Well, yes, yes, coach. Yep. So that means that there's going to be people sitting there at the $5 mark waiting to scoop this up. So this would be, you know, when Jimmy's talking about waiting in the weeds, this is the same thing. So he's waiting for that $5 limit to hit. Boom. All the buyers come in and then you could have a bounce. Remember all the tools that I give you guys every day, we use them all in correlation with each other, right? When you start adding everything together, you start to see a really big picture, right? So you take every little piece of what's happening, our two minute EWO, our 15 minute candle strategy, our L2 that you guys see right every single day, our shedding technique once we get in to get out, you know, which is how you maximize your profits and control the risk management. All of our risk managements that we use, how do we control, right? How much uh, percentage of stops to have, right? You guys starting to see where our support and resistance are, training you guys super key critical levels of where we should start looking at shedding, right? And then, oh, here it comes. <clears throat> here comes a double top or... In this case, <clears throat> in this case, if this was a double bottom leading into an L2 with a giant amount of buyers sitting at this critical level, do you see how everything we talk about, right, is starting to work all in conjunction with knowing more and more and more and more information? So right here, let me let me demonstrate something for you. Okay, let's say you're a Tesla trader. You're looking at Tesla. You want to go out at a bigger window. This is how fast you should be able to chart Tesla. We're looking at all these different key areas, right? Every time it touches a key area. So right here, right, right here, right here, right there. There's one. There you go. There are now we have charted out Tesla. See that? Done. Tesla pulls back. There's all your key critical levels. That should take you under 10 seconds once you know what you're doing. Everybody see it? Just like that. Yes, now sir. Now yes, you coach. Yep. And now look, now, you know, every key level, right. And you can see it, right. Look at everywhere I mark, right. You guys all see these different levels. Yep. And we're just looking at this on a higher level, right. But look how fast we can do that. <clears throat> Here's the thing, right? So that's, this is the lower where they are. It's going up. So we also got to go higher, right. But I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of, do you see how fast we, we can chart that? Oh yeah. Yeah. Now, now to go to the upside, right? Because now we also need the upside. You got to go farther back. Why? Because we need more data. Here's your upside. There's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. There's your upside. See it? Done. There you go. There's every channel for Tesla. It should take you under 10 seconds to map out your entire day just like that.